Hello, BookTube. I'd like to do a book tag. I was tagged today by Steve Donahue. Um, the World Tour book tag, which is original to Liz at Book Learning. And Steve was um, tagged by a channel I really enjoy, A Book Olive. And um, it's divided into parts, the questions, um, travel related. And part one is getting ready. So number one, inspiration, a favorite bookish character from TV or film. Um, Frank Dole um, from 84 Charing Crossroad by Elaine Hamp, and that would be book or film. I very, very much love that movie, and uh, it's the best book movie and best characterization of a bookseller in my opinion, that I've ever seen on film was uh, Anthony Hopkins as Frank Dole. And um, so that would be my be my choice. Number two, travel agent, a favorite author outside of your demo, outside your demographics. Um, there's a lot of my favorite authors are outside my demographics. So I would go with... Um, well, there's many I could choose, um, but I'll go with Nikos Kazantzakis. Um, I've mentioned before I love Freedom or Death, his novel. Um, he can seem a little alien to me sometimes with his concerns and interests, but I always, always uh, enjoy reading him very much. So Nikos Kazantzakis, he's from the Isle of Crete. Destination, a favorite place to read about. Well, this has changed over the years with me. Um, I spent quite an exciting time in Russia. It was the Soviet Union then, and it wasn't by the time I left. And um, so I would, when I came back to the States, I read everything I could get my hands on about Russia. Um, but my favorite, my favorite place to read about that's been consistent throughout my life is the ocean. Um, the world ocean. And it's just always been my favorite. Um, number four, take off. A book you've read to travel to a place you've never been. Well, there's plenty of places I haven't been. I mean, I've been to a lot, but it's uh, some ways a big old planet we live on. I've never been to Antarctica. I've never been to Newfoundland. I mean, I've, there's there's just tons of places I haven't been. Um, I was really, really heavy into reading Farley Mowat, his books about not only maritime stuff, but uh, land-based stuff about uh, Canada, the Arctic, all that. I, I really, really, I've been to Canada. I've been to Quebec City, Montreal, I've been to Toronto, uh, been to uh, British Columbia many, many times. Um, but um, some of the territories he's covered, I've never even been close to. So, um, yeah, I'd say any of Farley Mowat's books. So then we go on to part two, was out and about, sites, a reading spot you want to visit. I'd love to go to the Athenaeum in Boston. I've seen pictures of it. Um, I've heard a talk about it. Um, so I, I think I'd like to visit there. Taste, a food or drink you first encountered in a book. Boy, I think I've encountered an awful lot of them. I love books by M.F.K. Fisher. I uh, love reading about Julia Child. Um, I've read a lot of those types of books. Um, I would say, boy, that's, that's, a, I think in the old, no, in old novels though, I first heard about Absinthe and it had a mysterious air to it. Um, let me see here. Okay, locals. A favorite foreign to you character in a book. Foreign to me? 
Mm. How about uh, Hercule Perrault in Agatha Christie's Mysteries? He's such an interesting character, and uh, but he he did have that air of well, he's a Belgian detective and not an American reader. So next is sounds, a word or a phrase you learned in a book. Any language. Hmm. I'll go with Pasiba Hedershaw, and I'm probably saying it wrong in Russian. Spasiba or Pasi? I'm not sure. Um, maybe Elena Makrodina could correct me. Uh, souvenir one, a favorite bookstore you've been to. Now, I did visit the Brattle with Steve down here, and I, that would be right up there. Um, there's a used bookstore in Henniker, New Hampshire, and it, I feel terrible. I can't rem ever remember the name of it. I think it's like the Book Depot or something. I always like that. There used to be one in Bangor, Maine, Lippincott's. Um, so, I would say right now, and then, uh, yeah, I would, I would say the Brattle. I would, I would have to say the Brattle. I love the carts outside in the alleyway, and, uh, and I appreciate the fact that Steve first uh, brought me there. And number 10 is a souvenir, another souvenir, a favorite library you've been to. Well, I work in one. And and um, and I've been to many. I mean, when I was a little boy, I grew up and it was Rockingham Memorial Library in Bellows Falls, Vermont. Um, I've been to the Houghton in uh, Harvard. I've been to Boston Public Library, which is amazing. Been to the Athenaeum in St. Johnsbury, Vermont, which is beautiful. I've um, um, spent much of my life around uh, the Bangor Public Library in Maine, which is absolutely gorgeous library. So I have many, many, many libraries I love. We had a little teeny one-room library in uh, Underhill, Vermont when I was a boy. I just about read through the whole thing. So got lots and lots of libraries. I, I would, um, I would, I would, if I had to choose one, I'd say the Bangor Public Library. Okay, in part three, coming home. Reunion, a book you bought or read to learn more about your hometown. I've, I've read tons of New England history. Um, I continue to read New England history and to learn all the time. Um, but I would say that the collected novels of Kenneth Roberts are where I, where I turn for a lot of the atmosphere of New England history. So, say anything by Kenneth Roberts. Number 12, Oops, a book of yours that is on its own adventure, i.e., a book you loaned out that's never returned or a book you lost, forgot somewhere. For me, it was an entire library. I have about 3,000 books now. And uh, I had more than that at one time in my life. And I lost that entire library um, at the end of my first marriage. And uh, was so disheartened, I, I went many years without keeping books. So, um, and, and many of those books and big parts of that collection I'll never be able to replace. And uh, so it's always a regret. I, I, there was, uh, I put a lot of my life into building that first library. But eventually I came around and started again, and uh, so I'm not the only one that's ever happened to. So then we go to tag your it, and on this part you're supposed to use the old compass rows, try to tag somebody from each uh, north, south, east, and west. So I am going to East, Dane Cobain at Dane Reads. South, Todd the Librarian. West, Matt at Paperback Junkie. North, From the Dusty Bookshelf. And then um, I'm going to add a little bit here because I have a booktube friend who seems to be on the road or in the air constantly. So how can you not do a travel tag with this person? 
and that would be Ernest Lee Eston. So wherever you are, <laughs> um, in the air, uh, in some far off city, um, I would also tag Ernest Lee Eston. So th this was a fun tag. Thank you, thank you, Steve. That's a good Sunday afternoon tag. And uh, again, I recommend she does. She she has tons of subscribers. It would be book all of. And then um, Liz at Book Learning, thank you for doing the tag originally. And uh, thank you, BookTube.